Hello tribe. So here I am doing another video. Um, there is so much I want to talk about. There is so much channel and frequency and downloads and aha moments I want to share. But right now, today, the most important one is is conclusions. Um, the full circle stuff. There's 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 so much that I want to speak to 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 you guys on this, and I think that it's really therapeutic for me to do this video as well because it also helps ground kind of what what is coming through for me personally as well. Um, so conclusions, full circle stuff. Um, it's really so we moved through. Well, let's start from the beginning of the week. We've moved through. Um, Tuesday was uh, second of the second, twenty twenty two, and that 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 energy and frequency was intense it was really really powerful a lot of us were speaking about anxiety and heart palpitations and i mean there was a lot of magic as well as a lot of physical sensation which was quite quite intense a lot of dark night of the soul stuff going on which i moved through hectically on the weekend so that that was that was coming through um, as all this light came through that was being purged out so yesterday was a lot lighter you may have found that you know even here the weather was kind of like a little bit apocalyptic i use that word a lot this year apocalyptic Apocalyptic, because we've gone from 35 degrees heat, so hot, and then and then yesterday it was just like raining and raining and raining and raining, and it was just so cool in the temperature, and it was quite. But that's Cape Town. But but just matching with the energy, it made you feel a bit hinky and a bit like, oh, okay. But it felt like that cleansing, all the rain coming in and just going and breathe, you know. So then that was a little bit of a breath of literally fresh air and today um the energy is good for me personally i'm kind of feeling that i'm i'm okay i'm feeling like there's a lot of space but i but i'm feeling a lot of um conclusion energy now i've spoken in my videos previous maybe i did or maybe i didn't i can't remember whether i mentioned about the native american frequency i am many streams of consciousness which we all are um my main default frequency as we know is egypt um and but I have other streams of consciousness that show themselves to be very strong at times. And one of those is the Native American frequency. And one, uh, one powerful guide that I haven't been in contact with for years, Wise Owl, big Indian guide. Um, I actually have a massive owl tattoo on my left, left, side, left, left side of my thigh. That's how profound his visitation was when I connected with him like about 10 years ago. Um, and then I kind of like moved away from that. But then last week he came in like a freight train. So I have been surrounded by this Native American energy. And the reason that I want to share that with you is because they were showing me the medicine wheel and it was showing me full circle, full circle. So when you work for the medicine wheel, you, you know, it, it's so powerful um, because you move through different areas of your life um, and you move through different cycles. Obviously, you have the four directions and everything like that. But then when you do full circle, you you arrive at gratitude and wisdom. And I that's definitely where I've arrived because, man, it's been a trip. But I think it has been for all of us. So I actually think collectively there is a powerful element of this full conclusion. Now, I feel that I've arrived at my conclusion and I'm breathing into gratitude and um gratitude and wisdom however there are some still sort of like coming into that which is where they're still playing out quite a lot of trauma and just now you'll ease into that 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 full circle but we're all pretty much coming to the point together okay so everything full circle um now there is a so if you're not understanding energy or you're not really in touch with the spiritual way or whatever the this timeline is actually playing out to be super traumatic Things are just like, I mean, I want to share what's going on here in Cape Town, which is why I felt the need to do this video, because I'm looking around me going, whoa, because I just want to say now that um, what was prophesized by all of the, the channels, all of the, the, the prophecy as in written scripture, whatever, this timeline, this moment in time, 2022, this is the landing of the golden age. We were told this is what's going to happen. I mean, we kind of thought that, oh, yeah, well, that was all the COVID crazy and all that kind of stuff. That feels like a pinprick on a, like, in a desert in comparison to what's going on now. Like, I mean, like I'm not even into that. Like, it's not even on my radar, but what the playouts that are going on right now is like, and the energy and, and the people that are just losing their marbles around me, I'm like, oh so this is what they spoke about how you know you if you if you're like part of that let's call it the first wave you know we've kind of gone through all of our shit already why but why though to basically hold space for the others 
who are the others, the ones that didn't get the memo and didn't agree to wake up at this time. We're the, we're the, we're the twin flames, we're the way showers, we're the pioneers, we're the space holders. All of those of you that have done your work and now you're here, there's a purpose for it because all of these people, all of these beings are coming in now. We need to hold space for them. And already we're starting to reflect back to them because they're starting to remember and they're starting to kind of like have these big traumatic events play out in their lives, which is like an aura jolt. And then as a result, they're getting closer and and closer and closer to us as we hold the space to come into oneness so this is what we've been taught i mean all of you guys that that, that are uh, light workers light warriors you know how many books have you read how many courses have you done how much of your own channel and they said the time is going to come the time is going to come and we've kind of just kept on trudging going but when no and now i'm sat here going shit this is it so the reason i'm saying that is because it's happening a lot with the young people and I'm kind of looking at around 20, not, actually no I lie, about 18 years old, 17, 18 years old. There seems to be, a that timeline seems to be exploding on fleek right now. Kind of a lot of stuff happening to the teenagers and the, the, uh, the early 20s. So a uh, young girl was killed outside a nightclub um, uh, last week Friday. And obviously my children are teenagers, they're very, in con they're very much in contact with this girl and she was killed in a hit and run. And of course it's left them all vibrating. Um, last night there was a kidnapping, same kind of age, age group, do you know what I mean? Somebody basically was run off with, with, a, in a, in an Uber, with an Uber driver, locked the boyfriend out, away they go. She's alive and well, everything is fine. They're vibrating though, because they're going, what the hell's going on? You know, even my daughter being thrown off a horse and put in hospital and is now on crutches. Car accidents, you know, aura jolts, aura jolts, aura jolts. And even, even a kidnapping is an aura jolt. So all of this stuff is playing out. And I'm actually observing it for the first time ever, not being involved in it, meaning it's not happening to me. I'm like, thank the Lord. Because, why? Because I've gone through my lessons and my process of knowing, really knowing that this is all illusion. Because we've always been fine. We have always been fine. I am now hanging with my soul energy more than I've ever done. And the ego, yeah, is still trying to tell me all its bullshit stories. And I just sit there and go, Pinocchio, <laughs> don't believe you. So now all of a sudden I'm on the other side of the mountain going, okay, don't believe the hype. I now truly know I've embodied the fact that it's all illusion and it's all not real because I am really connected with the soul wisdom of we've been fine forever. We've always been safe. We have always been safe and we will continue to be so. Be so. Everything we have, everything we are, everything we need, like it, it's here. We already have it. You know what I mean? The ego will tell you you're not safe. This is happening to you now. So this is the split between the energies. Like I'm going, this is chill. This is really good news actually that people are getting kidnapped and everything like that because people are waking up. The past life energies of their timelines is playing out now because we need to tidy all that shit up. This is good. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, they're vibrating going, oh my God, we need to be really safe about who we get in the car with. We need to not go out anymore. Let's button down the shahatches and like, let's not be so fearful. And I just explained to my son now, actually fat chat with him and going, no, 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 no. This isn't what's supposed to happen. You're not supposed to go into more fear because you're believing your ego. What's the, what is happening right now is the purging of old timelines, old past life stories, stuff that needs to be concluded, packed away, done and dusted, donezo, donezo, donezo. That's what's basically going on right now. So this is a celebratory moment. And my son is like, you've gone mad. <laughs> and I'm like, I haven't. Truth, I haven't. I very much have all of my marbles and all, all of my sandwiches in my lunchbox. So that's what's going down this end. So the reason I'm giving this really big, deep explanation is just, I mean, there might be a lot of this going on around you or with you. But this is conclusion. This is like full circle stuff. Everything, I'm going to refer to the pyramid, has come to the peak now, okay? We were base, we were base matter. Base, base, base is dense. Illusion, uh, drama, spiritual drama, lots of it. Victim, victim, victim mode. You know, constantly like, what about me? And you know, oh my God, I'm not safe. I need to move here and do that because I'm going to be better there and I'm not safe there. And you know, and, and, um, 
you know, like maybe I should do this because you don't, basically you're damage controlling all the way through. So if you're damage controlling and trying to fix a problem, you're in your ego, quite simply, because life now flows. It truly does. We have access to that consistency now. That is the truth of that. So if you are putting out fires and if you are damage controlling and you're still in that vibe, you know, you need to basically move house. You've got a location, shift location. You've got to come out of your ego and you've got to get into your soul frequency because in soul frequency everything just flows everything has synchronicity and if something does come on your radar where it vibrates a bit you kind of just go oh look at that but you don't feel the need to deal with it that's the difference now I'm having this crystal clear cl clarity not because I've done my work and all the rest of it it's because it's an indication that the whole of humanity is shifting because I can't ground all of this unless everybody else is grounding it and I've always said I am you you are me if you're going through it then somewhere in my reality I'm going through it if I'm healing myself and a part of myself I'm also healing for you as well because it's this oneness wisdom that's really coming into play which is brings me back to the conclusion the circle oneness full circle everything is unity everything is whole okay so we're part of the oneness wisdom so that is really starting to embody now so this these traumas these physical playouts that are really really amping up right now are just a reflection of the shit that is still needing to be purged and you can choose to hold on to it and believe with it believe in it and vibe in it and stay in your suffering or you can actually let go and surrender and a lot of this is not really needing anything to go and heal or actively work on because that can still be quite ego and addiction what you need to do is just give your sacred yes and fall back into it and surrender and just let the cards fall. So yeah, conclusion energy, lots going on. I did say the month of February is going to be like this, where we're going to be like kind of like being stretched and stretched and stretched. So if you feel that that is you, inflate your lungs even more. Take a bigger, deeper breath of oxygen. You know what I mean? Because like I say, um, we're fast moving through to the 22nd. Um, which is actually my wedding anniversary, by the way, hysterical. So I'm either going to die or I'm going to make it through. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I actually shouldn't have said that. I cancelled that spirit. But anyway, this is just to help you out um, because I'm sharing a lot from my side, which is like kind of chaos, but it's kind of good because we know where it's going. So anyway, as always, if you need some tips, some tools, there are some uh, free meditations and, you know, guidance on working how, how to work with the gods on the YouTube channel and everything like that, just to support you in your journey. Other videos as well. Um, and yeah, just go to the link tree link, which is either because I've had a, such a problem with YouTube is either if you're on your laptop, top right hand corner, you'll see um, um, the uh, uh, portal of power or you can find the link in the link tree, um, the link tree link, which will be in the about section, which is just really long winded. Or you can just click on the link that I'll put in the in the written text. That's so much easier. And if you're watching Insta bio. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to put it out spirit. Can somebody bring us a new system so we don't have to do all that bloody verbal at the end? Jesus. Anyway, yeah, Jesus. Thank you. Take the wheel. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. Love y'all. Peace.